Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and, hey, replay baseball fans. Today, as you can probably tell by the title of the video, I am going to compare two tabletop games that have some similarities to each other. And that is exactly why I'm comparing these two particular games in this particular video. The first one is... Status Pro Baseball, and yes, I know, I know, this is a an older version. I do have an older version, and I do have the, uh, this, this particular one came with the 1978 season, the 1978 baseball season. It was a very fun season. I remember it well. I was 12 years old. But anyway, I digress. Um, and then I'm going to compare that to... Payoff Pitch Baseball. Let me get this in the screen. There you go. Payoff Pitch Baseball. We all love it. If you played it, I, I do love the game. I love the game. And actually, I like both of these games. And so the fact that they are remarkably similar um, in a lot of ways is probably why. Um, I would describe Payoff Pitch as being like Status Pro on, on steroids. So um, anyway, and you'll see why when I get into the comparisons and we look at the cards and we look at the uh, and we look at the uh, you know the game engines. So without further ado, let's get on with our comparison of Payoff Pitch Baseball to Status Pro Baseball. All right, so you can see my setup here. I've got Status Pro set up uh, right next to Payoff Pitch. Um, and we're going to get into the similarities. I wanted to do them side by side. I didn't want to do them one at a time. I want to do them side by side so I can show you the similarities and then where they differ from from one another. Um, the first similarity is you're going to notice that there is a fast action deck here in Status Pro and there is a what you might call a fast action deck over here in Payoff Pitch. And we will take a look at the detail on the cards. I'm not going to go through how to play the game. I mean, if you don't know how to play the game, I suggest you just go and look and see how you how the games are played. But here you can see this is a fast action card from Status Pro. And you can see there's a lot of information on here. Um, you have the PB and, you know, the random uh, card number. And the PB is... Um, uh, comes off the pitcher's card whether the pitcher is in charge or not and we will get to that and then um, and then the random number from either the batter or pitcher's card after we determine whether the pitcher is in charge on this particular play and then it shows whether there's an error if an error comes up and then the out sequence it tells you what kind of an out and to who based on the type of batter here we have the um, Payoff pitch card. Now this has, as you're, you're going to notice, this has a lot more information on it. Um, and uh, we'll also get to another similarity, um, which is a fairly recent development from the 1978 Status Pro game. But anyway, um, this has a lot of information. The kind of hit, if it's a single or a double, uh, sacrifice bunt stealing information um, defense whether they're whether it's a range check or an error um, the types of outs or hits or errors so there's a lot of information on this card and you can see up at the top it says 2d6 and then 2d10 so um, what this is saying is basically this is the reading if you were to roll two um, six-sided die and two ten-sided die uh, for those particular readings, but you can choose to go with what the card says and not roll the dice. That also happens to be the case with Status Pro Baseball. Most recently, more recent versions of the game do allow for a dice version. In fact, I believe that there's an all dice version where you don't even need the cards. You don't have to use the fast action cards at all. 
I do not play that because uh, to me it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, um, and the uh, it's simpler with the with readings off the fast action decks. So let's get to let's look at the Chicago Cubs now. The first uh, of and this is the 2019 Chicago Cubs because this is a more recent Status Pro team. And you can see here's a stadium card. This is a ballpark card. This is also relatively new. In 1978, when I bought the Status Pro Baseball, there were no um, ballpark cards, I don't believe. Or if there was, I didn't get any on the eBay version So uh, that I bought. So I don't think there were stadium or ballpark cards when, uh, when I was young and in earlier versions of Status Pro. But later versions do have it. There's information here. I don't really know what this means because I don't play with the uh, ballpark cards. But let's look at, you know, you can see now here's Addison Russell and it tells you what kind of batter he is. He is a right-handed normal power batter. But let's get to a, uh, let's try to find a pitcher here. If we can find a pitcher. All right, let's get down here. Brandon Kinsler, is he a pitcher? Yes. So you can see what I was talking about before. He had got a PB rating of 2 to 8. So when Brandon Kinsler is pitching um, on a, uh, a reading of one uh, of 2 to 12, he will be in charge from 2 to 8 while he is, uh, you know, at times when he's not tired. And he also has a, um, a relief rating of 6. And uh, what that means is, if you look over here, you can see this little chart. And let me go get a, uh, well, here you go. You can see this chart, and this is a pitcher reduction. That's what that is. It's a reliever reduction. And so if he was a, uh, if he was a six, you would put, put it right here. And every time he gives up anything, any time he gives up a hit, a walk, a run, Anything bad happens, you bring it down one, you bring it down another one for another one, you bring it down another one. And once it gets past, you know, off of this chart, he's tired. Now, um, Payoff Pitch has another um, another method, and you can see here, we'll look at Wade Miley. He is a pitcher, and you can see that his fatigue rating is a five. So... He, you would start considering his fatigue um, in the fifth inning or in, maybe in the sixth. Um, I'm not sure how that exactly works. I'd have to go back because I, I want to preface everything that I'm saying here by telling you I'm not an authority on status pro baseball and I'm not really an authority on payoff pitch, but I have played both games and so I can kind of give you a, an overall like a 50,000 foot view. And so it, they do factor in fatigue for the pitcher. Now, if we go back and we look, you saw the uh, you saw the Sh Chicago Cubs right here. They do have a ballpark card, and you know the ratings, and you know what it it does. It, it, this would would presumably have some effect on the game, as does the. Uh, the ballpark cards in payoff pitch payoff pitch also has a ballpark card you refer to this for error ratings range ratings when it says ballpark um, or, wh or when a range or error comes up and then when when it says ballpark on a pitcher's card and we'll go back and we'll look at that you can see right here uh, Wade Miley has uh, ballpark at five and so if you were to pick a card in the uh, fast action deck in payoff pitch for ballpark, then you would refer to Minute Maid Park if they were playing, if the Diamondbacks were playing at home. And then you would pick another card to see whether it's um, wheelhouse or in play. And then you would refer to it from there on out. Now, as you will remember, as you'll recall, I said that um, in Status Pro, you first determine whether the pitcher is in charge or not, and then you refer to either the pitcher's card or the batter's card on the next draw of the fact card. 
in a uh, payoff pitch it's a little different it's the pitch it's a blend of the pitcher and the batter so here we have robinson torinos batting against um wade miley and if you what you would do is first you you do the uh, d12 or or the uh you do the two d6s for a two through 12 rating to see what um what kind of pitch miley throws or how um in how i guess how tough his pitch is or how whatever or what happens so as we can see if you picked a uh, four let's say if you rolled a four or you picked a four in payoff pitch uh, on the two d sixes it would be a patient so we know that we're looking at patient now in Chirinos's side of the card and so now you focus on just the patient side and you draw the um, two d10s which go up to 99 and then you would see what happens based on that but it, you can see how it kind of meshes both the batter and the pitcher together one isn't in charge over the other it's kind of a mesh between the two of them and um you get your determination that way now one very big difference between the two of them to the two games that i've seen anyway is if you use the fact cards in payoff pitch nearly everything you would need to refer to uh, would be on the fact cards in most instances occasionally you still have a chart you'd have to look at but in general payoff pitch has most of the information 90 percent of the information you're going to need on any given play on the fact cards that is not the case for status pro as you can see from the status pro board we have a lot of information along the outsides of the board these are all things you would have to refer to in various situations and there are also additional charts here you can see you've got a uh, a man on third <coughs> with uh, uh, a man on third out chart an air sequence uh, men on first and second out chart you flip that over you've got uh, bases empty out chart a uh, man on first out chart and then here's more bases loaded out chart so these are all charts that you have to refer to depending on various situations that might come up uh, that will not be resolved by using the um, status pro fact deck um, so in a lot of cases it'll just refer you to look at those charts so that is a that's a big difference but um you can see where the similarities are between the two games um as i said i've played both of them uh i've pay, played status pro a lot more than i've played payoff pitch but i intend to do that more in the future and have payoff pitch games um, more frequently on my channel but uh, and I will still occasionally have Status Pro, but uh, Status Pro might be edged out just a little bit by uh, Payoff Pitch because, as I said, to me, Payoff Pitch is um, it's Status Pro on steroids. It's almost like the guy, the person, or the entity, or the company that invented Payoff Pitch had played Status Pro and said, you know, I can improve on this a little bit and make a little better game than than status pro and uh pay off pitches what they came up with i mean that's my opinion you guys you know leave a comment let me know um i'm sure that there's a lot i haven't covered in this video um like i said this was just a quick fifty thousand foot overview of the similarities and differences uh between the games but uh both very good games and um you know I love both of them but let me know if you have a preference one over the other if you've played both if you haven't played stat or uh, payoff pitch well if you haven't played either one of them I would highly recommend it uh, payoff pitch you can get free teams off the internet um, and uh, you know uh, if uh, you want to 
uh, do that, I will leave a link in the description below of where you can find free um, uh, team cards from various seasons. Uh, payoff pitch, you have to go to the payoff pitch website and um, I will also leave a link to that and you'll have to buy the se seasons, but you can buy PDFs of the teams and seasons, which is cheaper than buying the cards themselves. I, however, prefer to buy the cards because the card stock is awesome. You can see it's got the shine, you know, on it and this is, these are very tough cards. So I prefer to buy the cards, which is more expensive than buying the PDFs, but you can get the PDFs and cut them down. And uh, also, um, if you buy the PDFs, and this was my, my logic in going and buying the cards, the card stock is a lot better. And I'm going to pay a fortune in ink printing off an entire season, um, at least, if I get the PDFs. Sure, I could do a team at a time or a couple of teams at a time and it won't be nearly as much as uh, in ink as it would be to buy the card, but, um, you know, to buy the set from the company. But that's a choice that I make um, and uh, I do have a couple of seasons on the way and we will talk about that also in the future. But this was my look and my comparison of Status Pro Baseball to pay off pitch. Again, the quick 50,000 foot overview and uh, just interested in what you guys think. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.